Excellent! That is some powerful nog. Hello everyone, welcome to Paul's Hardware. This is uh, my Christmas Eve video because it is Christmas Eve. I'm doing a build today. I'm gonna be assembling uh, the parts that you see right here in front of me. But first off, since it is Christmas Eve, I wanted to start by saying Merry Christmas to all you guys out there. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Whether you celebrate or whether you don't celebrate, uh, just best wishes to all of you out there. I've had a fantastic year producing videos for you here on Paul's Hardware and I plan to continue that in 2016, so. Happy New Year, all of that good stuff. Um, but let's move on to the actual build that I'm putting together, which is actually going to be a Christmas present tomorrow morning uh, for my little nephew. Uh, he's about eight years old, and the request was that he get a computer first that he could upgrade, maybe a little bit in the future in a year or two when he sort of moves into that phase in his life, starts learning to tinker with and play with things like I think a lot of us probably did at that age. But second, uh, needs to be able to play Minecraft. So this is my Minecraft Plus system. It's using a, an AMD APU of 7850K at the heart of it. And uh, I think it's gonna be a great starter system. It's the first, just kind of get off the ground, uh, or hit the ground running with uh, being able to play some games in Minecraft, of course. But also to provide an upgrade pass. Since there's no graphics card, you could possibly add a graphics card in the future. Uh, possibly do some memory upgrading, that's easy enough to do. Maybe even add some more storage in the future since we have a 240 gig uh, A-Data SSD, but not necessarily a mechanical hard drive for mass storage, but I wanted it to be fast, so I went with the SSD right out of the gate. This is also the build that I uh, did, or sort of pre-assembled in my uh, December builds video, so just circling back around like I promised you guys and actually putting it together. Now you might notice some of this build is actually already pre-built. I worked on this yesterday and I actually got Windows loaded and up to date, so that's good because uh, if we want want to use this tomorrow while all the guests are over here and we have lots of kids running around and screaming and we want to say, hey look, go play Minecraft for a while and, and let the adults do adult things. We can do that. Um, so I'm happy to say that everything does work already. So it was kind of a outside the box build to make sure everything was functional. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop this all into the system. Our case, of course, is the Fractal Core 500. But let me run down the rest of these components real quick and then we'll proceed with the build. So apart from the 7850K that's pre-installed onto the motherboard down there, I wanted to go with a better than average CPU cooler. So rather than using the stock cooler that comes with it, I went with the Hyper T2 from Cooler Master. Um, this was actually available with a rebate. So it came in at about 11 or $12. And for anyone who's using a stock CPU heatsink fan, um, this is a very inexpensive upgrade. And although it's not the best CPU cooler out there, um, it seems to be doing a great job for me so far. Stays pretty quiet. It's got a sleeve bearing fan, but um, it's a 92 millimeter, so maybe you could upgrade it in the future. Anyway, I don't wanna spend too much time on the cooler, so let's move on. The motherboard is the FM2A78M ITX from ASRock. This is also a fairly budget-oriented motherboard as it uses the A78 chipset, um, but it is fairly inexpensive. This also came with a $30 mail-in rebate, so it made it very cost-effective, but it's got six SATA 2 ports. Uh, it's got a nice finish. I mean, as far as the color, it looks pretty good. It's got your expansion slot for PCI Express, so we could drop in a graphics card in the future if we wanted to. I maybe like to see a couple more USB uh, ports on this board, but as far as I.O. goes, it's got everything you'd need to kind of get you up and running and off the ground. And uh, I think it's a great bang for the buck. Um, might want to drop in a Wi-Fi card here in the future, maybe a USB one. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll be set to go. For memory, we have a 2x8 gig kit of G-Skill Ripjaws X series memory. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of like the heat sinks or the color on these, but they are 2400 speed, which is pretty fast for DDR3 memory. Went with faster memory because we're using the iGPU that's in the 7850K, and pairing that with really fast uh, onboard memory is gonna give you much better performance if you're actually running games off that iGPU. So something to consider if you're gonna do that, and that's why I went with pretty much the fastest slash cheapest two by four gig kit that I could find. Uh, and G-Skill's a reputable brand, so very happy with that. For long-term storage, we have the A-Data SP550 240 gig SSD. This is one of the ones that was around 60 to $65 in the Black Friday time period. Um, so fast SSD storage, 240 gigs, which should be plenty for now. Um, it was very inexpensive, and there's of course plenty of room for upgrading or adding a mechanical drive in the future. For our case and power supply, we have Fractal products. And um, starting off with the power supply, this is a Fractal Integra M 750 uh, watt power supply. This is actually the power supply that I was using in our HTPC out here. 80 plus bronze, does a great job. It's partially modular, stays very quiet, and um, it's just been great for me so far. It's also very short, so it will fit even in smaller cases. And hey, it matches with the case itself, which is the Fractal Core 500. ITX case, this is a new one from Fractal, so it's got USB 3.0 up front. 
tons of expansion options in there, even has some water cooling support. And also very nice, it has a support for taller air coolers in there. So even though we've got a significantly taller air cooler here than we would if we we're using a stock one, it's still gonna fit in there. Anyway though guys, I'm really excited to get this put together. So why don't I stop talking and start building? So there you have it guys, this build came together very easily and very quickly, thanks in no small part to the fact that I had pre-installed the uh, CPU as well as the CPU cooler in the memory and pre-installed the operating system. Happy to say that this thing plays Minecraft like a dream, thanks uh, also in part to that uh, SSD. I want, really wanted this to be a fast system for it to feel fast, especially since we're introducing it to kids, we're used to like the you know, the smartphone type response that you get now. And an SSD is a great way to do that. It boots really quickly. And building in the Fractal Core 500 was really, really easy. Even though this is a mini ITX case, which I was kind of on the fence about because I do want it to be upgradable and that's not necessarily the thing you get with an ITX case. Uh, there's tons of space in here. You could even do water cooling in the future if you wanted to, um, since that's an option. So I'm hoping in the future, if uh, my nephew does decide to do some upgrades on this, um, that he has some expansion room in this case, and then of course, limitless possibilities for the future when it comes to PC building modification and customization. That is all for this video though. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I have had a wonderful time bringing you guys video content throughout 2015, and I plan to be bringing it right back at you in 2016, starting off with CES, first week of January. So hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay tuned for more upcoming videos. I have lots of exciting stuff planned. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and just all the positive feedback you've given me. Again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the next video.